Hello everyone, welcome back to Pably and today we are going to see that how we can automate WordPress using Pably Connect. So WordPress is an open source content management system that allows users to create, manage and publish content on websites. WordPress is used for publishing new blogs, creating new business websites, running e-commerce sites, portfolios. Also, it is used for online communities and forums and educational websites. So WordPress is a versatile, powerful and user-friendly platform that is widely used for building all types of websites. Whether you are creating a personal blog, a business website or a complex e-commerce site, WordPress provides the tools and flexibility needed to build a successful online presence. So imagine here, I'm a blogger or a business owner who manages a WordPress website and I regularly publish blog posts, manage customer inquiries, update content and as my site grows, these tasks can become time consuming, especially if I'm managing everything manually. So by automating certain processes using Pably Connect, I can save time, reduce errors and focus more on strategic tasks. So here in this video, what we are going to do is we are going to explore how we can automate WordPress using Pably Connect and how we can save a lot of time and energy. So here what we are going to do is we are going to use Pably Connect and by using Pably Connect, we are going to see how we can create automation inside Pably Connect by using WordPress. So for using Pably Connect, I need to open a new tab and search for pably.com slash connect in my browser. And this will take us to this landing page of Pably Connect. Now here in the landing page, I have two options of sign in and sign up for free. If we don't have any account with Pably Connect, then we can just click on this sign up for free button and this will take only two minutes of our time and we will get 100 tasks free every month. Or if we already have an account, we can just sign in and we will get to see this page. So these are all the apps that Pably offers and we are going to use Pably Connect here. For that, I just need to click on this X and now button under Pably Connect and this will direct us to the dashboard of Pably Connect. Now here in the dashboard, what I need to do is I need to create a new workflow and for that I'm going to click on this create workflow button and this window will pop up. Now here in this window, I have to name my workflow. So I'm going to name it as my objective, which is to automate WordPress using Pably Connect. Now I'm going to select the folder where I want to save my workflow. So I'm going to open this tab and in this tab, I will find all the folders that I have in my Pably Connect account and I'm going to use this particular folder of WordPress. So I'm going to select that and now I need to click on create. And this will take us to this most important window of our workflow. Here in this window, we have these two boxes of trigger and action. So these are the two main principle on which our workflow works on and trigger says when this happens, action says do this. So trigger is going to be the first step that will get executed in our workflow and action is just going to follow that. So we need to first set up our trigger for setting up our automation. And here I'm going to show you how you can use WordPress in your trigger and action step too. So here first I'm going to set up my trigger and in my trigger application, I need to search for WordPress. So I'm going to do that. And now I'm going to select WordPress. Now I have to give a trigger event. So I'm going to open this tab and here in trigger, we have all these trigger events like new comments. So this will trigger when new comment is going to get posted on any of our blog or any post, new post publish. So as a new post will be published on our WordPress account or on our WordPress site, then it will trigger that and we will get all the detail of that new post. Also, if we delete any post, then we can also get those detail or we send any post to trash, then we can also get that specified post detail. If post get updated, we can also get that detail. And if we instantly want to get the updated detail of the post, we can use this trigger event. Now we have this user trigger events like user deleted, user login, user registers, user update his profile. So if user do any of these things, we can get that by using these trigger event and we can get all the detail of the user. So here what I'm going to do is I'm going to use any of the trigger event and I'm going to show you how we can set up WordPress in our trigger step. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this trigger event of new post published. So I'm going to select that. And now what I need to do is I need to connect WordPress with Pably Connect in my workflow. And for that, I need to use this Vabook URL. So this Vabook URL is going to work as a bridge between WordPress and Pably Connect. And for connecting these two applications, I need to follow all these instructions. 
Now what I need to do is I need to copy this Webhook URL. I'm going to take you to my WordPress account. And for connecting WordPress with Pabli Connect, what I need to do is I need to first go to plugins and here I need to add a new plugin. So this will take us to WordPress admin area and here we need to search for our plugin that is going to be WP Webhook. So after searching for our plugin, we need to scroll down and we will see this plugin that is WP Webhooks in this list. So what we need to do is we need to first install this particular plugin in our WordPress account. So I have already installed this and I have activated this plugin. So what I need to do is I need to use this plugin to connect WordPress with Pabli Connect. And for that I need to go to settings and in settings I will see this option of WP Webhooks. So I'm going to open this. And here with WP Webhooks, what I can do is I can connect WordPress with Pabli Connect. Now for adding my Webhook in my plugin, I need to go to send data. And now I'm going to scroll down. And here I need to first search for my trigger. So here my trigger is going to be post created. So I'm going to search for that. And I'm going to select post created as my trigger. So I'm going to click here. Now in this trigger, I need to add my Webhook URL. So I'm going to click on this add Webhook URL button. And now what I need to do is I need to first give my Webhook name. So here I'm going to give the Webhook name as WordPress automation. And I'm going to add my Webhook URL that I have copied from Pabli Connect. So I'm going to paste that here. And I'm going to click on add for post create. And now I have successfully added this Webhook. And now what is going to happen is that I have connected WordPress with Pabli Connect. And as I'm going to get a new post created in my WordPress site, then automatically the detail of that post will be sent to Pabli Connect. So to check whether my trigger is working or not, I'm going to go to post. And here I'm going to add a new post. So I'm going to click on this add new post button. And now here I need to fill all these details to create my post. So first I need to give the title to my post. So I'm going to clear this. Unlocking the power of automation. How to streamline your workflow with Pabli Connect. So this is going to be the title of my blog or the post that I'm going to create on my WordPress site. Now what I need to do is I need to give the content for my post and here I'm going to add the content. Now here I have added my content for my blog and now I have added all the required detail. Now here what I'm going to do is I'm going to publish this post. So I'm going to click on publish. And here I have successfully created this new post on my WordPress site. So here my post has been published and I have created this new post on WordPress. And now what I need to do is I need to go back to Pabli Connect. So here in Pabli Connect, we can see I have received this response. So in this response, I have received all the detail of the post that I've just created on my WordPress site. And in this, I have my post ID. Also here I have my post title that is unlocking the power of automation, how to streamline your workflow with Pabli Connect. Also here I have the post content. And here this is my content that I posted on my blog. Now here in this response, I have this link. So this is my blog link. And by using this link, I can access the blog that I posted on my site. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to open that in a new tab. And here we can see that this was the blog that I posted on my WordPress site. And here this is the title of my blog. And this is the content that I posted. So here we can see I've successfully created this post on my WordPress site and automatically the detail of that post has been sent to Pabli Connect. So here I have received all these details of my post that I have published on my site. And now here we have seen that how we can connect WordPress in our triggers tab in Pabli Connect and how we can use trigger event for setting up our automation according to our condition. So here you can use any of this trigger event and you can connect WordPress with Pabli Connect. And now as we have seen that how we can connect WordPress in our triggers tab, we are going to see how we can set up our actions tab. For that, I'm going to take you to another workflow. And in that workflow, we are going to see how we can use our action events and how we can connect WordPress in our actions tab. Now here I have this automation where I've already received the response through JotForm. And now I'm going to use this response to create a new user in WordPress. So I'm going to open this tab of actions tab. And here in action tab, I'm going to again search for WordPress. So I'm going to select WordPress here. Now I have to give my action event. So I'm going to open this tab. And here I have all these action events. So by using these action events, I can create a new post, create a category, create a comment, create a tag, or create a new user that I'm going to use. Also here, I have all these action events for updating things in WordPress, like update a comment, update a post, update a tag, update a user. 
I can search a user, search a post by ID, search category, search a tag, get post ID, get a tag by ID, get latest post. I can even delete a tag, user, post. Now here I have all these action events and I can use any action event according to my condition. Now here what I want is, I want to use my trigger response and I want to create a new user in WordPress. For that what I'm going to do is, I'm going to use this create a user action event. So I'm going to select that. And now I'm going to connect WordPress with Pabli Connect in my actions tab. So I'm going to click on connect. I will click on add new connection. And for connecting WordPress with Pabli Connect, I need to give my WordPress username or email, WordPress password and the base URL. So here first I'm going to get my base URL for which what I need to do is I need to go to my WordPress account and in my path URL I'm going to get my base URL. So here for getting this what I need to do is I need to go back to my WordPress account and here in my WordPress account I have my base URL. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy all this till WP3 and I'm going to copy this. I will go back to Public Connect and I'm going to paste that here in this base URL tab. So here this is going to be my base URL and now what I need to do is I need to fill my WordPress username or email or the WordPress password. So here I'm going to add my account details and here I have added all the details. Now what I need to do is I need to click on save and here I have connected WordPress with Pabli Connect in my workflow. Now what I need to do is I need to create a new user and for that I need to fill all these details. So here for creating a new user I need to fill all these tabs and I need to fill all these details. And here what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my response of trigger and I'm going to use all the details from that response and I'm going to map those details here in these tabs so that I can create a new user in WordPress. So I'm going to use my jot form response and I'm going to map those details here and for that I'm going to use mapping. So what mapping is, mapping is the technique through which I can retrieve the data from the previous tabs and the data that is changing will get replaced with the new data in the real time. So for mapping I need to click here. I will open this response of jot form and here I need to map the email address. So here this is the email address of my customer that I have received through my previous step. So I'm going to map that. Now similarly I'm going to give a username. So I'm going to use the name of my customer. So I'm going to click here. I will open this response of jot form. And here this is the first name. So I'm going to map this. I will give underscore and I'm going to map the last name. So this is going to be the username. Similarly I'm going to give a random password. So for the password, I'm going to use the name of my customer and I'm going to add a combination of at the rate one, two, three. So this is going to be the WordPress password. And now I have to fill the first name and the last name. So I'm going to map that. Also, I'm going to give the full name. And now I have these two tabs of nickname and description, but these are not the required details. So I'm not going to fill these details. I'm going to select the role of my user. So I'm going to open this tab and here I'm going to use subscriber as the role. So I'm going to select that. And now I have filled all the required details. So as I mapped these details, I made these details dynamic. So what is going to happen is that as I'm going to receive a new response through my trigger step, then automatically all these details that I've mapped here are going to get replaced with the new response of my trigger in the real time. Now I'm going to scroll down and I have to click on save and send test quit button. And here we can see I have received this response. So this is a positive response and this means that I have created a new user automatically in my WordPress account. So to check this, let me take you to WordPress. I will go to users and I will go to all users. Now here I'm going to search for my user that is named as John Smith. And here we can see in WordPress, I have created this new user that is named as John Smith. I have this username that is John underscore Smith. I have the email address that is John Smith at the rate and I have the role that is of a subscriber. So here we can see I have automatically created this new user in WordPress by using all the detail of my trigger response and automatically I have created this user by using an automation inside Pabli Connect. Now as I'm going to receive a new response from my trigger then automatically it will create a new user in WordPress. Now I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect. And here I have used this particular action event of create a user. You can use any other action event that you want to use and you can connect WordPress with Pabli Connect and you can set up your automation according to your condition. So like this, I have simply automated WordPress and here we have seen that how we can automate WordPress using Pabli Connect. So here we have seen that how we can set up WordPress in our triggers tab and actions tab and how simply we can connect WordPress with Pabli Connect.
and now we can use any trigger event and action event and we can set up our automation according to our condition. So here you can use WordPress for creating amazing automations using Pabli Connect and you can save tons of time and energy. So this is how I have automated WordPress using Pabli Connect and you can also use the same steps to automate WordPress with your desired applications and you can create amazing automation. And also if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. Not just these applications, you can automate and integrate a lot more applications like this by using Pabli Connect. So if you want to reach out to us, then email us at support at the And if you have any queries, then you can write us at forum.pabli.com. And if you have any issue with the pricing, then you can visit this link. And if you like this video, then please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.